Hi. In this video, I will explain how an image of a SIM card can be created. You will need the following instruments. First of all, you have to have the SIM card itself. Then you need to have a smart card reader, which is PCSC compliant. You can find one on this website. Then you need to have the software which does the actual scanning. In this case, we will be using a, a program called SimDump. It can be obtained from the same website. The process is very simple. You have to start the program and it will ask you just a few simple questions and then you can get started. As soon as you run it, you have to choose a reader from a list. And then the program will ask you which scanning mode you wish to choose. Some SIM cards support just the 2G command set. Other ones also support the 3G command set. If you're not sure which one you need, go for 3G or in the worst case scenario, scan it once in 3G mode and then once again in 2G mode and have two separate backup files. So let's click 3G in this case. Then you will have to enter the pin codes for the SIM card. If you don't know them, it's okay to leave the fields blank, but beware that this means that the files which are protected by certain access codes, such as pin or pin two, will not be read, they will be skipped. Therefore, the scanning process will only retrieve the contents of the files that could be read. The next question is whether you wish to perform a quick scan or a full scan. I will explain in a while what the difference between these two methods is. So far, let's just stick to the default value, which is yes, we wish to perform a quick scan. As the scan is being carried out, you see a progress bar on the screen. The name of the currently scanned file is being displayed in the programs window. As I promised, I will explain the difference between a quick scan and a full scan. If you have a 2G SIM card, then there is a standard which specifies which files are supposed to be there. And that standard indicates the hierarchy of the contents of the SIM card's file system. For example, you can have these folders in the main directory and each of them can contain subfolders or files and so on. So basically what the scan process does is it goes through every file which is defined in the standard and attempts to read it. And if a file is read successfully, it will be saved inside the backup image. All right, um, as soon as the scan process is over, you will be asked to which file you wish to save the results. So let's just go for SIM backup 3G and save it. In the case of a 3G SIM card, there is another standard which specifies the same things. Which files are supposed to be present on the SIM card and where exactly they are located and what the role of each file is. So when you perform a quick scan, the SIM dump does the following. It only verifies the files which are supposed to be there. In contrast, sometimes you may be dealing with SIM cards which you suspect contain files that are not present in the standard documentation. For example, let's mark them with yellow here and maybe another one here. If you perform a full scan, SIM dump will not look only for the files which are supposed to be there, but it will also look for files which are not defined by the standard. This way you can reveal hidden files. Of course, in this case, the scanning process will take much longer, but that's the price you have to pay for revealing all the non-standard stuff. Unless you really know what you're doing, uh, you won't ever need to go for a full scan mode. Most of the tasks can be handled by going for, for a quick scan. 
Now let's see what that file is. We've saved it to the desktop, simbackup 3G. This file can be opened with a tool called Sim Explorer. And as you can see, you are now able to explore the structure and the contents of the file system of the SIM card. Basically, this tree view is what I have schematically represented here. Obviously, my sketch is not as pretty as the real thing. But I still hope you got the basic idea. So that's how it works.